What's up? My name is Wesley Littlefield, and today I'm going to give you just a quick introduction to my rod box on my custom kayak trailer. I built this rod box out of sewer pipe PVC. Um, I bought the caps off of Amazon, and I also brought the brackets off of Amazon as well. The pipe itself is an 8 inch. I almost went with a 6 inch until I watched another video online and they said, um, I think it was Chad Hoover who said, you know, if you're gonna go six, you might as well go get eight and you can get another rod or two or and reel in there. And so I said, go big or go home. And I got the eight inch PVC pipe and I'm glad I did because it holds, I think five or six of my rods. I can't remember now and of my bass rods and then it'll hold, hold two of my catfish rods and reels and i don't i don't use any more catfish rods than that and i don't use any more bass rods than that so it's perfect for what i do i made it eight inch or eight inches eight foot long and that gets covers all of my rod lengths but the pipe itself that i bought was actually i think i had to buy a 12 foot pipe so if you've got longer rods than eight foot, then you could cut it to nine or whatever you want and it would work great. But it wasn't, it wasn't that expensive, to be honest. I mean, compared to what you'd go online and buy and mount on your car or your truck, it was not that expensive. Part of it was that my grandpa gave me some spare uh, kind of scrap pieces of, oh, what do they call that? Uh, this metal, I call it a metal tubing, basically is what it is. And he let me borrow his welder and weld it on there. So if it doesn't look very pretty, that's why I'm not a welder. <laughs> but as far as the box itself, I really like it. The one thing that I've noticed, and I don't know why it does it, but the lock side has started to slip down and it now sits cockeyed. You can kind of see it here and it actually sits cockeyed because I believe because the lock bounces and it just twists it just enough and I believe that's why it sits cockeyed. I really can't think of any other way to do it but I mean it's there so I even if I was to loosen them and tighten it back down I really don't think it would do anything. I don't want to tighten it anymore because well maybe a little bit but i it's good in my opinion it's good i could maybe go a little bit more but other than that it's i love it it's not it's not gonna fully protect my rods i know if somebody really wanted to get in there obviously you can take a saw and get in there pretty quick or bolt cutters and cut the lock and get in there really quick but for hauling it down the road, my rods and reels. I was a little worried about them bouncing and I bought some rod sleeves and reel covers and that has seemed to protect my rods and reels plenty good. And I've, like I said, I haven't had any break yet and I've stacked them in there pretty tight. And I think that's what's helped because it eliminates the bounce as much. But this, ki this trailer does bounce when it goes down the road too. So I know that they're bouncing around a little bit and that's why I got the extra protection. With that all said, I really think it's worth investing in. If you're going to get into kayak fishing and you've got a trailer, build a rod box. And you could probably even find a way to mount my box on the top of my truck if I was desperate enough but i'm not because i got the trailer anyways that's that's my rod box i absolutely love it thank you guys for watching have a great day